Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. In this part, I honestly forgot the purpose of Gweden Farm here. I think this is where those women tried to murder us. Maybe? I don't know. But, uh... Either way! What, what we have here today is we are going to be exploring Smoke Hole Cave. Smoke Hole Cave is inhabited, thankfully, by the undead. And that's... That is most certainly better than, uh... Oh, no. Is it inhabited by undead? Yes, it is. Why are you here, ogre? Smoke Hole Cave is inhabited by the undead. The undead being... Actually, just undead. There's no conjurers involved. That's... No conjurers or necromancers, that's that's both refreshing and alarming. That means the undead are rising on their own, and I am more than willing to put them down. Alright. This cave is a large cave. It has three zones. Most places will tell you this is a medium-sized cave, but I will argue that it is a large-sized cave. I have explored it. The map feels large. Now, it is, it is not the extra-large type of cave, though. Oh, neat. I'm just gonna summon a skeleton down there. And I didn't realize there was a wraith. Ah. Oh, come on. I thought I escaped that. Oh, well. So, uh, this actually is a pretty neat area. It has this big old bridge in the dead center of it, and on either side is a drop-off. And I, I think that's pretty cool. You have this statue here and this statue there, and it's clear that this was, at some point at least, maybe a mausoleum of some kind to the now long past. Where are the enemies? I don't like the idea of fighting these things up close and personal. No, you don't. Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. I don't want to fight Gloom Wraiths in person. Only online. Wow, it's taken a surprising amount of damage, actually. Did the other one die? Okay. See that? I, I clearly punched it to death. I just punched a ghost to death. I, I am the best. Oh, wow. I need a torch. There we go. Alright. Summon a skeleton. So, uh... This is how you get to here... If you fall down here, you've got to go through this area over here. And, uh, it's not fun. Oh, thank goodness that thing is dead. It's just a rat, but... Even rats can be intimidating when they can give you brain rot. Ooh, there we go. Now, there are two ways to go deeper, and we are actually at one of the ways. And I don't know if I want to go this way. See, this has three zones, like I said. What we want to go to next is the Brass Tomb area. That's the Boot Tomb area. See, the Brass Tomb area is the officially listed second area of this game. Of this game. Of this cave in this game. And as such... I would prefer to explore it first. Ha! What? There we go. Took out the necromancer. Well, it's a lick. I took out the lick. It used to be a necromancer. It technically still is. But it is a lick. Staff of Burden. Nice to know you would not have really hurt me at all, except emotionally. Okay, let's go up this way. 
and make our way to the brass tomb. Brass hole tomb is what I almost said. Hmm. Feels like there should be something in here, but there is not. Instead, just the door. Okay, in the brass tomb, there is no enemy in this first area. Creates a nice little spooky atmosphere when you enter. You can't see anything, but you hope there's nothing there. If you go over this way, there is still nothing. I mean, there are some chests and some loot that you can find, but there is still no enemy. In the smoke tomb, inner key. And then a lick. No. Just no. Wait, what? Huh? I didn't even realize you were here. Some top quality camouflage. Bow of fire. Ooh. Let's loot this chest for some ectoplasm and some gold. I think this is personally a per I think I feel personally that this is an ominous frightening tomb that uh why you need not explore would be interesting too. All right, so no enemies in that room and no enemies right here. Going down this path actually leads you to a dead end. I thought an enemy spotted me and I was questioning how. But if you get close to this with the detect life spell, you can see that there is a lick over there. And going to the right, you have two rats. Now, both of these rats could have actually been strong undead enemies, so I'm glad they were rats. Right here is a randomized chest. I think it is a... I don't, actually, I don't know what type chest it is. Yeah, the, there's there's several different types, but there is one specific type that is much more likely to have jewelry above all others, and I think that's that chest. Ooh, give me the bone meal. I'm not messing with that. It's gonna die. Hmm? Oh, walls. Where are we near? That doesn't make much sense. Maybe Dasic Moor? Hmm. Because the only thing, Smoke Tomb Outer Key, that one's actually important. Smoke Tomb Outer Key. Yay, Smoke Tomb Inner Key. What? That damage is minimal. Okay. So that was the boss of the area, that lick there. And he went down pretty easy, especially when compared to... Wow, that was a rat. Uh, I must have killed the rat already. Especially when compared to uh, goblins that we've been fighting a lot lately. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. What kind of sacrifice was going on here once upon a time? Are the licks that we found in this floor the skeletons that now remain there? Or or what? What? That chest is huge. But it's only got two potions of healing? Now, most in-game chests would only be up to my knee height. This is up to my hips. And I don't remember that chest at all. What were they storing in there? I, I think they might have been storing dead bodies of some kind. But, uh... Who was using them? 
Was it the Lick? Did the Lick still have some of its base sentience and intelligence? I honestly do not know how smart a Lick is in this series. Yeah, see? A regular chest up to about my knee height. And the one in there was absolutely massive. Uh, but, with that done, we can actually go off to the boot tomb. And the boot tomb is a... Actually, it's pretty much the same thing over again, but it's an interesting cave. It doesn't have a ton to add to uh, what we've already found. But it's a neat little tidbit. And I'm going the wrong direction to get to it. There we go. Right, we already looted that. Why do I keep looking at that? Okay, I didn't re quite realize that was there. In here, you actually get to see a little bit more of the structures that this is around. Maybe someone dug this? as an attempt or an attack on something. By the way, this middle room here is actually filled to the brim with necromancers. Well, not necromancers. With, uh, ouch. Oh no, I've been silenced. Filled to the brim with nether licks. And regular licks. It all depends on your luck. Near the edge over here is a chest. And down in the bottom of the room there, at the edge of this wall right here, probably just under this coffin, is another chest. Both of them contain randomized loot, but I do not want to dive in there and fight those guys to find out. I would rather take my time to murder them. You! Thank goodness you're dead. There's that lick gone. There's that one gone. Mm. There we go. Got you from the distance, but that is not going to be enough to kill you, actually. You're a strong fella. Oh, wow. And he absorbed that. Let's use the Welkin Stone. And then all that's left is you, and you explode into a pile of bones. Alright. So there's this chest right here. Like I told you. Oh! 666 locks, lock picks. Nice. Let's dive down into this. And loot all these licks. Uh, yeah, I already got you. Why did I loop around? Right, because of you. So after you get by the honestly kind of absurd amount of licks, if you go up this way, there's another chest, and I believe there is at least one more enemy on this floor. And wow, that's a shame. I was kind of hoping for another lick or something, not a, not a mud crab. But you see yet more of the structure that they are digging around, and I really wonder what this is. What kind of cave wraps its way around this structure? No dread zombies. Ah, uh, take out the mud crab too. I wonder if we've encountered the giant mud crab yet. I don't remember. Uh, for those who do not know, there is actually just a, right, just a stretched out model of a mud crab in this game. It's it's I can't say stretched. It does. They they enlarged it, but it looks natural. And it is absurdly sized for no real reason. There's also a ghost mud crab in this game as well. And I don't remember if we encountered that one either. This playthrough has gone on for so long. 
There's almost as many episodes as there is a day as there are days in the year. I said almost. All right, open this door. Head up this way, and before you drop down, let's look around a little more. I think I did miss a chest, actually. Hmm. Are you it? No. Where or where in this room is that chest? There you are. Randomized amount of gold and possibly some other items, but nothing hugely important about that chest. Ooh. And back out to the exit we go. When you get to the end of that area, it might seem like there's no way back, but you have that little pot, that little pothole, that little hole to drop right in and take you right back to the entrance of the area. Other than that, it's a straight shot. Uh, off to the Gold Coast. So, uh, that is actually a pretty neat little cave. I don't know of any lore behind it, though. Just supposed things and maybe a theory here, here or there, but I haven't heard anything in a long time, and I don't personally have anything that I'm going off of for that. But I just find it fascinating that there was a sacrifice going on this close to Anvil and this close to Coral. And I really do wonder what happened here. I wonder what that underground structure is that it's around. It doesn't resemble any alien ruins, and it doesn't look like there are any fortresses nearby that are still intact. So it just begs the question of, what is this? And honestly, we'll probably never get an answer, but it's really cool to look at. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. If you like my stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description if you want to support my channel. Thank you all, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.